Hey, what's up guys, Fesir here with another amazing video on this channel, Billion Dollar iTag. In today's video, we're going to learn how to boost your Wi-Fi speed with just a small trick. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's get started. Let me give you a real life scenario. Recently, I moved into a new house and I was really happy. But in short while, I figured out the place where I set up my laptop, the Wi-Fi strength was very bad and I was really sad. I tried few techniques, but none of them worked for me. And then I searched my IT related archive box and guess what I found? I found this external wireless adapter which I bought last year but I was not using it. So let me show you guys what I did was. I put two AA size batteries and put them next to each antenna. So the both batteries should be facing towards the top and at the same height. And also across from each other you don't want them to be touching at all. I would advise you guys to use rechargeable batteries. It's not advisable to put more than two batteries because it's not gonna help. It's gonna weigh down your antennas. These two batteries essentially triples the speed of your wireless adapter through magnetic induction. It basically attracts the signals, amplifies it using the induction and transmits it into your computer. And of course, I wanna show you guys how much this is gonna increase the speed. So why don't we go to the computer and do a speed test wireless antenna without the batteries and then with the batteries afterwards see what it does. We will do three different Wi-Fi speed tests. First, without the wireless adapter. Second, with the wireless adapter. And third, of course, the batteries on wireless adapter. All right, so here we are at the computer on speedtest.net and do the first test, let's just test without wireless adapter. As we can see, without wireless adapter, the speed is terrible. The download speed is 2.80 and the upload is 4.85. And let's see, what's the baseline test is with no antenna modification and then we will compare it afterwards. So as we can see, the download speed is gonna be able to all right. It's been slower today. Even so, we can see it's 5.75 Mbps and the upload speed is 3.93. It's weakened, lot of congestions. I guess okay, so around the same, a little bit lower. Now I'm gonna compare and add the batteries onto this and then come back and do the second test. Okay, so I put the batteries on antenna, so now it should be significantly faster. And let's do another test and see what the results are. Wow, look at the difference. Oh my gosh, the download speed is 21 Mbps. I suspect the first test was slower than it should have been. But I mean, look at the difference. It's obviously more than the triple it. I wouldn't expect that kind of difference. I think the first test might have been slow. But there is a definitely difference right there. Usually I get 10 Mbps on download. So it's still three times what I normally get. And I guess during busy times, you might even get huge difference like this. So obviously there's a major difference with the batteries on it. So hopefully this helps you guys. I'm looking forward to find out how this works for you. Let us know in the comment section below. If this video helps you, please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can check out the other videos given on the screen. Until then, peace.